Write the molecular, ionic, and net ionic equations for when aqueous solutions of aluminum chloride and sodium hydroxide are mixed. Okay, so aluminum chloride is an ionic compound, and we know that aluminum in a compound is going to take on an oxidation state of plus three unless it's forced to do something different by something like a fluorine or an oxygen or a hydrogen or an alkali metal. But chlorine, a chloride, is not going to force aluminum to have an oxidation state other than plus three. So aluminum chloride is a bond between Al3 plus and Cl minus ions. So its chemical formula is AlCl3. Now we don't need to check if this is soluble because it tells us that this is an aqueous solution of aluminum chloride. So this is aqueous. All right, now this is mixed with an aqueous solution of sodium hydroxide. Okay, so now we, we've got these ions, these four ions floating around in solution. And so for the reactant side of this equation, we just mix and match cations and anions. So, okay, we've got Na pluses interacting with Cl minuses, sodium chloride, all right? But now is this soluble or insoluble? Let's check the solubility rules for ionic compounds. All ionic compounds with Na plus as a cation are soluble with no exceptions. So this is aqueous. Okay, now what about Al3 pluses and OH minuses? Aluminum hydroxide. Is this soluble? Okay, all hydroxides are insoluble with exceptions to where the cation is an alkali metal ion or, or a barium cation. Aluminum is not an exception, so this is insoluble. This is a precipitate. Okay, but now let's go ahead and balance this equation. The aluminums are balanced. The hydroxides, we need a three here. Now the hydroxides are balanced. The sodiums are now balanced and the chlorines are balanced. So this is the molecular equation. Now for the ionic equation, we just break up all strong electrolytes into ions. So with these precipitation reactions that we study in this chapter, we're only dealing with ionic compounds. So if any of these compounds are aqueous, they're going to be strong electrolytes. So we break up all aqueous compounds into ions. So we've got Al3 plus aqueous plus three Cl minuses aqueous, plus three Na pluses, three OH minuses, three Na pluses, three Cl minuses aqueous. But now we don't break up the precipitate. So there's the ionic equation. Now for the net ionic equation, we just cancel the spectator ions in the ionic equation. And what we're left with is the net ionic equation.